Hi, this is Dale from Power Equipment Direct. I'm your snowblower expert here. So the steps we're about to show you on changing a spark plug are going to be pretty much universal on all outdoor power equipment. And whether it's a snowblower, a chainsaw, a lawnmower, the steps and how to do it are all pretty much the same. Uh, what I want to show you today is how to change the spark plug in a typical two-stage or three-stage snowblower. Uh, this one happens to be a three-stage Cub Cadet. So let's get going. Let's talk about some of the tools you'll need to get that job done. First thing you're going to want, you're going to want a pair of pliers to pull the spark plug wire off of the spark plug. You're also going to need a ratchet with an extension and the proper spark plug socket. It's either going to be a 13 16 socket, a 5 8 socket, or a 3 quarter inch socket. That should take care of any spark plug size that could be in there. If you can, have a torque wrench. A torque wrench will give you the proper setting when installing the plug back in. What you don't want to do is you don't want to over torque it because a spark plug is porcelain up here and if you put too much torque on it, and that wrench slips, you can crack this and break it and you'd have to go replace it. You're also going to need to set the plug. You're going to need some kind of plug gauge. The plug gauge just slides up and adjusts the gap on the plug. If you don't have a plug gauge, you can also use a feeler gauge. They're not quite as easy to use as a plug gauge, but they will still give you an accurate setting. I always recommend you too, you have an extra spark plug. You never know when you're going to need it. They're inexpensive. They're great to have around. Eventually you're going to end up replacing it anyway. So it's always good to keep a spare one. So now we're going to show you how to change the spark plug. Uh, this one happens to be a three-stage Cub Cadet. First thing you want to do is remove the spark plug boot. Many times you can just reach in there with your hand and pull it off. If you can't, you can always use a pair of pliers. Remove it, push it down out of the way, take your ratchet, loosen the plug. Once the plug is loose, pull it out. So once you remove the plug, you just want to visually inspect it. You'll notice that this has a really nice light gray to light tan color. That shows that it's firing properly. You can also see there's no buildup of any carbon. It doesn't look burnt. So it is actually doing a very good job. I would have to say this one probably doesn't need to be replaced. If you'll notice that a little electrode right here, it's nice and square. If it was rounded off or if any of this part of the electrode here was burnt up, I would say replace the plug. So if you have the plug out and you do notice dirt and stuff around it, you might want to just take a, a fine wire brush and just brush it off a little bit. You'll always want to check the gap. You'll need a gapping tool. So this is a spark plug gapping tool. It's probably one of the easiest tools to use for gapping plugs. What you would do is, is simply put the plug on and slide it up until you get to where it's supposed to be. This one's supposed to be 25 thousandths of an inch. There's 20 thousandths, there's 30 thousandths, 25 is right in between, so it's perfect. If you don't have a regular plug gauge, you can use a feeler gauge. The feeler gauges are all marked. Just find the correct size. This one happens to be 25 thousandths of an inch. Slide it inside the plug like this. You want to put the blade in the gap like this, and you should feel a slight drag when it moves in and out. Then you know you got the setting correct. Once that's done, you're going to want to replace it in. And now you never want to start the plug on the ratchet. You always want to start the plug by hand first. You don't want to cross thread it. You'll feel it when it starts to thread. Thread it in as far as you can by hand. Once you get it to the point where it's pretty snug, you want to put your ratchet on and then finish installing it. If you do not have a torque wrench, don't over tighten it, don't under tighten it. Just make sure it's nice up and snug. Once it's all tight, put your spark plug wire back on. You always want to push it hard. Make sure it's seats on the plug. You're done. Spark plugs usually every 30, 50 hours need to be at least checked or replaced. But really, when you think about it, a spark plug is relatively inexpensive. If there's any doubt that this is in good shape or not, just replace it. And always pick up a spare so you always have a spare on hand. So I hope all this information helped. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to Power Equipment Direct for more tips like this.